for advice. Okay, good morning. And just allow everything to relax there on your back. Shoulders to sink into your mat. And we're talking this week about slowing down. You need to slow down. Sometimes we have new projects going on in our lives, maybe a job transition. Maybe we decide to go back to school. Certainly the holidays are coming up, which I think involves more activity. Sometimes we get so busy in our everyday activities, we forget to take that time to slow down. And I want you to think about it as you move through your practice today, just slowing down through your practice, enjoying each posture, enjoying each stretch, enjoying each breath. Sometimes it's in those little moments that we slow down and take time to enjoy that we really just get great benefit from that we wouldn't normally get. We would just gloss over it. So let's just take the time to enjoy and slow down today. Lamentations 325 says, the Lord is good to those who wait for him, the soul who seeks him. So again, taking that time to slow down in our yoga practice and just in our time with Jesus. So maybe there's something going on in your life where you've been waiting on God, waiting for an answer. Just recognizing the great benefit of slowing down, taking the time to wait on him. So with that, just breathing in four or five more beautiful breaths here. And again, enjoy your breaths. Let the breath slow down your body, right? That's part of our practice. That's why we do this in the beginning. Take the time to slow down. And enjoy one more beautiful breath here. And then we'll start to stretch. So take those arms overhead, breathing in and reaching back, and lengthening everything you got here. So take your right hand over your left hand, make your swimmer hand. And the interlace those fingers. If you'd like, point your toes forward. Big stretch to breathe in. A big exhale. And you bring the knees into your chest. Beautiful arms out to the side. We'll make some circles to the right. So clockwise. Big toes side by side. And think about taking your time, slowing it down, enjoying the movement. Enjoy one more here and gently reverse. Very nice. The opposite way. Beautiful. Just noticing your breath here. Not rushing through, right? One more breath here, one more circle. Back into center, reach back. So we're gonna take left hand over right this time. Point your toes forward, reach all the way back. Again, maybe you wanna interlace those fingers and make it a little bit stronger. Just stretch out that belly. Enjoy one more breath in as you stretch. And exhale, bring those knees into your chest. This time with your hands on your knees, we're going to butterfly those knees in and out. The time may be going a tiny bit farther, just opening up those hips. Very nice. Okay, let's do 
Enjoy a couple more here. Beautiful. Left leg comes out, right leg comes high. Interlace your fingers behind your right leg. Flex your right foot, draw that right leg in. Send that right heel up. Think about the toes coming down towards the right hip. time here and enjoy another breath or two. And then we're gonna just gently walk the hands up the leg. See how far you can go. Lift the head and then walk back down. And we'll do that again. Go ahead and walk back up and gently walk back down. Beautiful. Take the right foot in your right hand, go into your half happy baby or your upside down runner's lunge, dropping right knee down on the right side of the body. Just let it sink down. One more breath here. Drop that right knee down. Just extend your right leg out, left leg comes high. Interlace your fingers behind your left leg. Draw that left leg. Set the heel up. Okay. Feeling those hamstrings. Take another breath or two here. And then we'll walk up that leg. Gently walk up, lift the head, see how far you can go. Gently walk down. And we'll do that one more time. Walk back up. Walk back down. And then taking your left foot in your left hand. Left knee drops on the left side of the body for your happy, happy baby or upside down or your lunch. Nice job. One more breath here. All right, so we're gonna go into our happy baby, our full happy baby. Why not? You can do that at the beginning, right? So we're gonna drop those knees down. Make sure your tailbone is down. Your whole spine is on the mat. And then you can get that movement if you'd like. That breath. Beautiful job. Just moving through a few more here. Coming back in the center, take the soles of your feet together. Your hands on the feet, knees wide, elbows pressing into your legs if you'd like. Sending those knees away from you. You can lift your head here if you want. Looking towards those feet. Beautiful. We'll go ahead and release. Take your legs nice and wide. Maybe gently press in here if you want. Circle out your feet. Spread out your toes. Awesome. We'll go the other way. Take a couple more. And then draw those legs together. Drop your knees to your chest. Hands behind your knees. We'll roll forward and back. Big full roll. Inhale when you come up, exhale when you go back. Let's take two more. Nice big rolls. Awesome. Come on up. Sit with your legs crossed. You can take your stacked logs here if you'd like. Taking one over the left adds in a nice little 
Good stretch. So sitting tall, if you're in your stack logs, take those feet and draw them in. And let's just roll out our shoulders. Circle out those shoulders. Let's go the other way. Nice. Come on back into center. If you're in your stacked blocks, go ahead and switch. Bring the opposite leg on top. Again, sitting tall, drag, drawing your feet in. Okay, and then this time we're just going to work into the neck a little bit. So just dropping left ear to left shoulder. Go the other way, right ear, right shoulder. Keeping those shoulders drop down. Bring it in center. Drop your chin towards your chest. Look down. You can press into the back of your head if you'd like with your interlaced fingers to the back of the head. Drawing chin towards chest. Okay, and then we're going to bring the chin up, looking up. And again, maybe your head is resting in your hands, elbows wide, or not. But either way, draw the chin up, stretch out your throat. And we'll come back in the center. Very nice. Go ahead and come out of your stack logs. If you're in stack logs, we'll come to our crossed legs and bring the hands behind. Go to your chest opener. Leading back, lifting the heart space. Breathe into the chest, expanding that space between your shoulders. Two more breaths here. Come center or walk forward. You're just going for the counter stretch, reaching forward, looking down, reaching out. Breathing into the back. Two more breaths here. Alright, walk it back in. Very nice. Let's go back into our chest opener. We'll just take one breath here. Lift the heart space. Let it go. With your next breath in, let's go into our reverse tabletop. So lift here. Those hips. Head comes back. Maybe that doesn't feel good for your neck, so you bring your chin to your chest. So think about lifting the hips. Reverse tabletop. Hands can point back, fingers back, or fingers to the side, or fingers towards your feet, whichever way feels best for you. So breathing in one more breath. Let's lift. And then exhale and lower down. Come back to your crossed legs. And again, going for counter pose. Let's re reach forward, looking down. Reaching out, taking a couple of breaths here. Good job. Beautiful. Come on up, find your way to your tabletop. All right. So, wrist on your shoulders, nice strong tabletop. We're going to go to our cat. Stay here. So, I feel a round. And stay in your cat and thinking about slowing down, right? Just a nice strong cat pressing your hands into the mat, doming your spine, allowing your head to hang. And then coming into your cow, so allowing your belly to soften down as you tilt your pelvis out, head comes up. So just stay here, feel that heaviness in your belly. Take one more breath in and out. Take another breath in, and then exhale to your cat again. So we're just going to go through two sets of cat and cow today, but just being very intentional here. Just really slowing down. Let your head hang. 
Take one more breath. Really down the spine again. Press hands into the mat as you exhale. And then let your belly soften down as you breathe in and find your cow. And you're turning that tailbone out. Lifting the head, belly softening down. Enjoy one more breath here. And then coming back into your tabletop. We're just gonna circle with our tailbone. So just think about your tailbone and make some circles with that. My head is hanging in the center. Neck is relaxed. Let's reverse. So tailbone circles. Swag that tail. Our doggies know how to do that, right? Circle it out. Take a couple more here. And then come back into center. Pass your right hand under your left arm. Lean into your right side. Right side of your face, your head on the mat. Left hand reaches forward. One more breath here. Come back up to center. Find puppy pose. So your hips stay high, head on the mat, take a breath. And we'll go the other way. So left arm under right. Get that little twist in your upper spine. Left side of your face on the mat, right hand reaches forward, left palm up. So breathe into this left side. my heart. Let's take a one more breath here. Come back into center. Go your puppy pose again. Head on the mat. Hips high. Take a breath. Come back into your tabletop. Strong tabletop. Right leg up. Toes pointed down, so right heel about level with your hip. And we're gonna take that over to the left side. Just sweep it over to the left, it's still suspended, and then drop it down. And then look over your left shoulder. Your right foot, squeeze those oblique muscles on your left side. Going back into center, we're gonna to need to notice that tail. Go back into your inhale, press your heel back. Do it again. Exhale, knee to nose. Inhale, stretch back. Exhale, knee to nose. Inhale, stretch back. We've got two more. Exhale. Inhale, push that heel back. And one more. Exhale. Inhale, push it back. Go ahead and drop it down. Let your hips sway a little bit. This glute works. So just kind of press those out. And we'll come back into center, left leg high. Sorry, it's about hip level. It's not really high. Enough. Toes pointed down. Let's flex. You guys got this. Push that heel out and then just sweep that leg to the right. So it's going to go past your right leg. You're going to plant those toes. And then look over your right shoulder for your left foot, squeezing your right oblique muscle. And one more breath here. Notice where that breath is. And then bring it on back to where it was. We're going to need a nose and exhale. Push that foot back. Flex the foot. Knee to nose. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, clench. Inhale, lengthen. We've got two more. Exhale, clench. Inhale, lengthen. And exhale, clench. And take it on back down. Find your tabletop. Let your hips sway. Nice job, everybody. Come on back into our tabletop and go right into that downward facing dog. Lifting your hips back. Beautiful. Just enjoy your first down dog. Keep hot feels. And when you're ready, go ahead and walk it out. Oh, 
ankle back into center. Keep your legs nice and wide. Walk your hands to your feet. Again, legs are wide. You're in a forward fold. Wrap the arms around the face. Hang here. Look back at whatever's behind you. Crowd the head and to the ground. Sway like. Really feel the heaviness in your spine. All right, so if you're swaying, come on back in the center. Right hand is on your nose, left arm is high. Big stretch up, reach up. Push the ground away with your right hand. If you want to take your left hand to your low back or your right hip crease, go ahead and do that, drawing that left shoulder up and back. So a relief. Come on back in the center, left hand down, right arm high. Big stretch up, reach up. Look up. Press that left hand into the mat. Strong left arm. So you can take that right hand to your lower back, your sacral area, or your left hip crease. Throwing that right shoulder up and back. Excuse me, job. Let's bring it on back into center. So we're going to turn to the right. We're going to go into our runner's lunge. So we flip everything. Over to the right, work out with those feet. It's going to come into runner's lunge. And we'll move forward and back here in our first runner's lunge of the day. Forward and back. One or two more. Left knee comes down, find your crescent. Just snuck the knees a little. Come on up to crescent, hands in prayer, reach back. And leaning into that crescent, right? You want to feel those left hip flexors. Let's go to reverse, left hand here, left leg, right arm reaches back. Go ahead and windmill the hands to the ground. We'll come back up to runner's lunge. Come back into center with your wide legged stretch and then over to the other side. We'll put runner's lunge on the other side. Now we're going to go forward and back here. Working into those right hip flexors. Take one or two more here. And then go into that low crescent, right knee down. Pick up, hands together in prayer, reach it back. Lean into it. Feel those hips push forward. Go to reverse crescent. Right hand to right leg, left arm reaches back. Bring your hands to the mat. Walk it back into center. Your back into your wide legged stretch. We'll walk forward to downward dog. We're going to lift those heels. Look at that wonderful foot stretch. Heels come down, push the hips back. Two more times, body shift forward, heels come high. Push the hips back, heels down. And one more. Come up on your tippy toes, heels high. Press it back, heels down. Let's walk those feet in. Put your hands to your feet to walk back to the back of the mat. Take a half lift when you get there. Inhale, exhale, and fold. Inhale to chair. Exhale, drop your hands to prayer. Inhale, let's take it up strong. Exhale, with hands in a fist, take a nice side body stretch. A nice little side body stretch to the right. Come center and go left. Bring it center and take it back. A little back bend here. Bring it center and slide it down. And walk it back forward to your downward facing dog. Once you get there, take a plank if you'd like to from your down dog into your plank. 
Coming back in the down dog. Walking the hands again back to the feet. Keeping your half lift, inhale. Exhale and fold. Inhale to chair. Exhale, hands to prayer. Inhale, dive it up. Make your fist with your hands. And exhale, stretch to the side. Inhale, center, stretch the other way. Inhale, center, and then take it back. Take that nice little back bend. Just do a mini back bend. Doesn't have to be big. Bring it back in the center and slide down and walk it forward. Come back into your down dog. And again, you have an optional play here. If you'd like to take it, go for it. Back into your downward facing dog. Good job, everybody. Let's push to the left foot. Take your right leg nice and high. Circle out your right foot a few times. And reverse. And then bend your knee and stack your hip. So your hip opener here. Drawing the right knee towards the sky. Let's take it to the nose. Exhale, crunch. Knee to nose. Inhale, take it back up. We'll go to warrior one. Pat your back foot. Soften those shoulders down. Just take your time. All good. Let's interlace our fingers and press the palms up. I'm going to move the camera back a little bit so I can catch my hands more. Does that help? All right. So we're pressing the palms up towards the sky in our warrior one. And then dropping down humbly. Hold here, pressing your back foot, take a breath. Now slip all the way up into the back. So we're going to spin out our heels to the back and find warrior two. Okay, so you're in warrior two facing the back of the mat. Reverse your warrior, reach back. And then go to your extended side angle. Left arm comes to your front leg, right arm reaches over. Right bicep by your ear. Coming all the way back, reverse your warrior. Inhale, exhale back to warrior two. We're going to turn to the side, make a big star pose. Turn to the front, back to warrior two, and cartwheel your hands to the mat, right leg back. Go ahead and take north low. Here we go. Plank. No. Over, up dog. Down dog. Beautiful. Push into your right foot, left leg high, circle your left foot, and reverse. Bend your knee and stack your hip. Go for that wonderful hip opener. Draw your left knee towards the sky, flex your left foot. Knee to nose, exhale round your back. Inhale, take that left leg high, go word one. Flip it out, rise up. Sink in, and we're going to interlace fingers, press those palms up. Okay, we're nice, strong warrior one, shoulders squared forward. Let's take it down humbly, hold here for a breath. And then we're going to sweep it all the way up and back, spin on your heels to the back of your mat through warrior two. Got it, let's reverse, bring it back. Extended side angle, right arm to that front leg, left arm reaches, lengthening out that top side body. Come back and do warrior two, reverse. Back to warrior two, turn to the side for your star pose. Just reach out through those fingertips and then come back to your warrior two with the run of your mat. Awesome. Hands to the mat, left leg back. Down your dog. Go ahead and slow it out. Back into down dog. Nice job. Take a little child pose here. Breathing. Good. 
pace. Stop you guys. Just thinking about slowing down. So we're just going to take a short child pose for this. Slow down. Okay, we catch the breath. We let the body rest. We slow the whole process down, right? We connect with Jesus. That's one of the most wonderful things. That is the most wonderful thing about slowing down is we take time to connect with Jesus. Again, Lamentation 325 says, the Lord is good to those who wait for him, to the soul who seeks him. So not rushing through our days, enjoying this time with Jesus. Three or four more breaths here. Forward and extend up into our upward facing dog. Stay here a little bit. Do some rocking left and right, working into those shoulders. Nice. Come on back into center. Tuck your toes, downward dog. So let's go through it again. Push into your left foot, right leg high. Circle that left foot. Reverse. And bend the knee back the hip. Going through your hip opener, resting that left foot into that mat. Left leg is strong. Let's go knee to nose. Exhale round. Inhale, take that leg high. Finding your warrior one. Making it up. Warrior one. Interlacing your fingers, pressing your palms up towards the sky. We're going to throw a little bit of balance here. Let's go ahead and drop our hands to prayer. Go to your figure four balancing pose. So bring your left inner ankle to your right leg. Sit your hips down. That top foot flexed. Our toes and palms together. So you can stay here in your figure four. Or if you want to drop your hands to the mat, a little deeper stretch into your head. You can feel that. You can do that. And then just pushing away, pushing away, coming back, coming back into your standing figure four balancing pose. So let's go back into warrior one. And again, we're going to interlace fingers, press those palms up, take your body down, hold here for a breath, humbly pressing those palms forward. We'll take it up and sweep it back and find warrior two at the back of your mat. Reverse your warrior. Side angle, extended side angle, nice long stretch to on that right side. Warrior two, reverse. Back to warrior two, star at the side, reach out through those fingertips and find warrior two at the front. Cartwheeling hands to the mat, right leg comes back. Go ahead and take your vinyasa. Whatever you like. Breathing in, breathing out. Push into your right foot, left leg comes high. Dribble that left foot. Reverse. Go to your hip opener. Press the ground away with those hands. We'll lift that left knee. Knee to nose, exhale, round your back. Inhale, lift. Exhale, warrior one. Inhale, rise up. We're going to again press those palms up, press into that back foot, and then we're going to drop those hands to prayer. So just push off gently with your back foot. You guys can do it. Find your figure four balance pose. Sit it down. Drop those hips. Drop those palms together. You're either going to stay here or you're going to go for more by dropping the hands to the mat. To 
that deeper link, deeper expression in head. So if you've got the hands down, gently push the ground away. Find that balance, come back up to your standing figure four pose. And then we'll all lengthen up a little warrior. What? Where what? There we go. Got to interlace those fingers, press those palms up. Take it down and humbly press the palms forward. Take a breath. Keep those arms up and back. Find your warrior two. Reverse your warrior. Find your extended side angle stretch, reaching forward. Back to warrior two. Reverse. Warrior two, lengthen and find your star at the side. Great star pose. Warrior two at the front. Taking the hands to the mat, left leg back, downward dog. Just go ahead and slow it out. Take whatever option of your flow you like. Back into our child's pose. Beautiful job, everybody. Let that head rest. Okay, this is an oldie, but a goodie. I'm going to birth uncle. Slow down, we're moving too fast. We definitely have those days, right? Where we are stressed at a guild and we're moving too fast. We just need to slow down and take some breaths. So you have a hard time slowing down, slowing down your body, slowing down your mind. Slowing down your spirit. And we know the enemy can use busyness and chaos against us. You know that. I know that. I experience that often where there's just so much stress going on and I do things I don't want to do. I behave in ways I don't want to behave. So how do we catch ourselves and slow down first? Still the silent yard and clean, but I wasn't made to be just appreciating the little details, appreciating the small things. So let's just take a moment here, three or four more breaths as we breathe and reflect. All right, let's reach over to the left. Big stretch. And then walk over to the right. Big stretch. Come on back into center. Take one more breath. All right, let's come on up. Go into our boat pose. Boat pose, a little forward. Arms to your side, palms up, knees bent. Bring the heels off the mat. You can always lower them if you want. All right, so we're going to hold here nice and strong. Just keep your belly down. Feel that navel drop down. You're going to hold for 10, 9, 8, 7. Five, four, three, two, and one. Go ahead and sit tall, draw your knees into your chest. Take a breath in and a breath out. Good. 
and then come back into your boat pose. We're going to extend and push that right heel up, bend the knee, then push the left heel up, bend the knee, one at a time. Breathing and pressing those heels out nice and strong. We've got three more sets here. Three. And two. And one. Get back in the center. We draw those knees in, sit tall. Nice job. Take a breath. We don't want out at the but I can see you moving. All right, let's go back into our tabletop. Make a big fist with your hands. Drop your right elbow down on the right side. Come center, drop left elbow down on the left side. Continue. Work into your core here. Transverse abdominis. Dropping elbow on each side. Breathing. And of course, you can, again, drop your heels. You need to if you feel any discomfort in your back. Go ahead and do that. We've got three more sets. Y'all are doing great. Here's three and two and one. Very nice. Call your other knees into your chest. Take a breath. Cross your legs and just lean back like you did earlier and just take a Nice big chest opener and really stretch out those abs, stretch out the chest, breathe in. And I want you to breathe into the belly and the chest. One more breath. All right, go ahead and come center, come on to your belly, and stretch those abs out some more. All right, so let's go to nice big seal pose. So remember the seal hands, we walk them in as far as you need to. to extend that spine, get that nice stretch into the abdominal muscles. If you feel anything uncomfortable in your back, go ahead and back off. That's okay. And you can drop your forearms also if you'd like. So extend, keep your shoulders dropped away from your ears so don't cram them up there. Extend up, breathe in, exhale, and do that one more time. Breathe in, exhale, and lower down. Take the side of your face to your mat, arms to your sides, and relax. One more breath, right here. Come back in the center. We'll do it again. So let's go to that seal pose. Walk your hands in. Flip your hands. Maybe this time you can go a little bit farther and maybe not. That's okay. Now you can see how it feels. Extend. Again, you don't want anything uncomfortable. And this time, if you want to, Bend your right knee and look over your right shoulder through the right foot. And then switch. That left knee. Look at that left shoulder. And down. The foot. Lower down the foot. Take one more breath in. Lift. And exhale and release. Keep the other side of your face to your mat. Arms to your sides and the left. Here. 
Bring your chin to the mat. Gently press up. Find your tabletop. Move your hands forward a little bit. We'll make our circles with our hips. Nice and easy. Pressing them out. Slowing down. If you think you're going slow, slow it down even more. That's a little challenging because you just want to work through it, right? So see if you can slow it down more. And whenever you're ready, gently reverse. Every missing to every bedtime story. Yeah, pop in. That is awesome. Keep it in on Sunday. All right, so slowing it down is the name of the game here. And of course, we're using our breath. So let's enjoy one more big, slow, slow circle here. And then come back in the center and find your way to your back. Careful. Bring your knees into your chest. Extend the left leg out. Go to our twist, right knee over the left side. Right arm out, lift your right hand. Draw your navel in and then enjoy a few more light knees breaths into the Right, let's gently align. Go to your hip opener, right knee out to the right side. Let's kick it down and we'll just enjoy this beautiful hip opener. Rest here, breathing. And then from our hip opener, let's go into our flying pigeon. So your hand on your knee, your foot in your other hand, and just gently rock out that right hip joint. Notice the length in your neck. Left leg is extended. Enjoy a few more movements here in your flying pigeon. Come back in the center. We'll gently extend the right leg out, go to the left side, bring the left knee in, and gently find your twist, pressing over the right side, the left. Enjoy your nice length breath here. Great today. Way to go. Start out your week well. Thank you for joining me. Slowing down here. Let's gently unwind. Come back in the center. Put your hip opener left and up to the left side. Shoulders are squaring off. Beautiful. Take one or two more breaths here. Then we'll go to that lion pigeon. 
knee in your left hand, put in your right hand, draw that leg in, hug it into your body. Maybe it's a movement that at least feels nice. You don't have to. Take your time. Breathe. Maybe slow it down if you've got some movement here. Knees into your chest, exhale out all the air, and then inhale and exhale as you rock left and right. Lovely. Let's go into our happy baby. Taking the arches of the feet, dropping the knees down, gently moving. This feels familiar, right? I did it at the beginning of class. Hopefully now you feel a little more opened up, a little more flexible. You feel a little more pliable. And then from Happy Baby, you can go into anything you like. If you want to do legs in the air, or you can do butterfly legs. You can take a bridge. Maybe you just want to stay in half the baby. Okay, and that's all good. All good options. Maybe you have another option that you like. You want to take that. It's all wonderful. Just putting that big smile on your face. Eyes closed, breathing through. Whatever feels nice. And then coming back into center, drop your knees back to your chest, squeezing the knees in, and then we'll take that nice big stretch overhead. Reach back, big, big stretch. Let's take our steeple hands. So interlace your finger, but release your pointer fingers. Thumbs are crossed. Notice which thumb is on top. This will do the opposite thumb next time. Stretch a little bit more as you point your toes forward towards the end of the mat. Release and exhale, knees in, head to knees, and knees to head. And then one more big stretch, reach all the way back. So again, go to steeple hand. We'll take the opposite thumb on top. A little different, I know. With this strong steeple hands, point your toes forward, stretch spine, belly, shoulder. Breathe in. Exhale and release. Knees in, head to knees, knees to head. Now we walk the legs out. We're going to go into a fish pose here before we go into our resting pose. So just take your palms in a diamond shape with your fingers and your palms facing down and under your sacrum below that lower back. One of your toes forward, lengthening out your legs. We're going to come up under the forearms. The crown of the head to the mat, so lifting the chest, breathing into that chest, lifting the heart, that lovely arch in your spine. Breathe in deeply. Enjoy one more big breath in the chest. Exhale and release. Slowly lower the spine. Your final pose here, your resting pose, your shavasana, legs wide, feet flat open, arms away from the body, palms up. Enjoy one more big cleansing breath here together, breathing into belly and chest. Opening the mouth, releasing out through chest and belly. Breathing softly. In and out. 
allowing the release to come. Releasing the backs of your hands into the ground, feeling the hands relax and the fingers curl in just a bit. Allowing your lower arms, your elbows and your upper arms to fully relax all the way up to your shoulders. Allowing the shoulders to relax and your upper back, your shoulder blades, the muscles around your shoulder blades, and then your mid and lower back, and everything relax. All the way down to the tailbone, into the hips, the pelvis, and then noticing the front side of your body. Noticing the chest and the belly, allowing all of that to relax. So you feel the ebb and the flow of your breath. In the body, going out of the body. Just taking your time here to release the body. And then bring your attention to your legs. Starting at the top of the legs and moving down, release your legs. Quadriceps, your hamstrings, your knees, and your lower legs. Release your calf muscles all the way down to your ankles. And then release your feet. Heels of the feet, balls of the feet, your toes. Keep releasing. Keep breathing. And then notice your throat. You can swallow if you want to to acknowledge your throat. Notice the jaw. Allow the jaw to drop down. Notice the tongue, the mouth. Softening the tongue down, allowing your lips to relax. And then softening your face. Cheeks, eyes, forehead. And you even notice the muscles around your ears. It's allowing all the facial muscles to let go. And then allowing the entire head to relax. Noticing the back of your head. How heavy it feels. And turning to your breath. And that beautiful soft breath. Taking your time here. Continuing to release. Appreciating every breath. So when we slow things down, we really do have more appreciation just for the little things in our days. It's not rushing through. And God doesn't want us to move through quickly. He doesn't want us to stress, right? And he even tells us in Psalm 90, 12, teach us to number our days that we may gain a heart of wisdom. By slowing down, we can number our days. We can appreciate the small moments, appreciate our days. That they don't just come and go. And there goes another week. There goes another month. There goes another year. Let's take the time to slow down, connect with God, to 
appreciate our days, remember our days. So let's take a moment here just to breathe, to rest, to reflect. Think about how God maybe wants you to slow down in a certain area of your life. Talk to him about it. Rest and reflect. Job, everybody. So very slowly, bring your movement back. Take your time. Maybe open, shut your hands. Wiggle your toes, whatever feels good, and then come over to your side. Stay there for a little bit. And then come on up to seated position. Okay, super job, everybody. Thank you so much. Let's go ahead and bow our heads and we'll finish up with our prayer. Oh, dearest Heavenly Father, God, thank you for this day, Lord God. We know it didn't happen by accident, so we're grateful for it. And just help us to appreciate the small moments. Help us to slow down, to keep our eyes forever fixed on you and see what is important in each day. And count our days, to number our days, take to count. Thank you, God. Thank you for this time together. Thank you for these wonderful women, these wonderful people that have joined me today. I just pray you bless them in every way. Watch over them and their families, keep them healthy and safe. Oh, Lord God, we're so grateful that you died on the cross for us and took the punishment of our sins. We're so thankful. We give you all the glory, all the honor, all the praise in your holy and precious name that we pray. Amen and amen. God bless you guys. Enjoy, enjoy, enjoy your day. Taking your time, slowing down. See you guys again soon.